the reason your magic isn't working is because you're following someone else's system. It's a blue fan, peace and blessings. This is Derek Rocco Moore. And um, in this video, I want to talk about uh, why your magic is not manifesting. Um, now, before I do that, um, of course, you know, as you saw, this is, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the, the whole conscious community, the issue going on with the conscious community and everything, and um, the importance of why spirituality is needed. Now, the whole point of actually doing this, and this, if, let me be honest with you, let me let you know, this is going to be the last video I'm actually going to talk about regarding, um, you know, um, Brother Polite and Brother Young Pharaoh and Dr. Omar. Um, the reason why is because I am not trying to be a bandwagoner. Um, I am not trying to capitalize on these individuals' misery. Um, and, and, and that, you know, please understand, that's not the whole point of this channel. That's not what we're doing here. Um, the whole reason of actually talking about this is because, you know, they, these individuals have basically, they've propped themselves up. And I want to kind of give an example or kind of uh, clarify um, some things in which I said in the last video as to why, um, you know, the things are happening, you know, situations are happening to them the way, you know, the way they are. Okay. Now, in the last video, what I did talk about, I mentioned how um, the, the ancestors, you know, our ancestor spirits, they don't really, they don't take too nicely to what's actually going on uh, to these individuals. Um, and this is the reason why they're having the consequences that they're having. Um, but after I went ahead and I stated that there was a few people, you know, basically hit me up and everything. So I wanted to go ahead and I need to clarify it. And the reason why is because um, I don't want people thinking that the, the ancestors are... Um, you know, are, are, are something to be feared, okay? That if you don't do this, well, the ancestors are gonna punish you, you know? Um, if you do this, the ancestors are gonna reward you, okay? That's enough, we got enough of that going on, all right? Holly Weird has basically went ahead and they have uh, confused our mindset in regards to our ancestors and our whole ancestral way anyway. So, I want to clarify why I said that, okay? I want to give you a, a, a better explanation as to um, why that occurred, okay? Um, back in ancient times, back in ancient times, um, I ask you this question. Do you know who were the most wealthiest people in Kemet? Do you know who the most wealthiest people in Kemet were? All right. Think about that for a minute. If you go back and you look in history, you go back and you read um, anything in regards to, you know, like I said, the comedic spiritual tradition, the comedic spiritual, um, their, their practices, their history and all that. Who were the most wealthiest people in Kemet? And OK, if you said it was the priest, if you said it was the, the people in the hierarchy, you're absolutely right. OK. Um, in Kemet, in ancient times, it was the people who had the most spiritual power that were the most wealthiest, okay? The, they were also the ones that had the, the, the highest social status. And that was because the system back in ancient times, it was set up on a spiritual system, all right? This is the reason why we are so many people are so fascinated with trying to resurrect the whole comedic way of, of of life because that's how that's how people live all right and not, not just in kemet okay we're talking about in, in other ancient societies as well the the higher you were um the more the more wealth you got the the higher your social status was was also a direct reflection of your spiritual progress, okay? So, when you see an individual, or you see these individuals who are basically, like I said, in the conscious community, 
and they're going through um, this, you know, this situation in, in which, you know, things, allegations and all this other kind of stuff is going on. All right. The reason why that is occurring is because what we're seeing is, is a shift in the dynamics of our society. Our society used to be, and I'm saying our loosely, but this society is, it, it was basically built upon, um, you know, exploitation and capitalization and so forth and so on. Okay. That was, that's basically the way. But you're starting to see this shift in regards to you got to be spiritual in order for you to go ahead and to a mass amount of wealth now. You have to go ahead and you have to have some kind of spiritual discipline. You got to have, you got to be into your magic. You got to be self developing in order for you to be, you got to be growing in order for you to be gaining or having this this wealth this fame this this fortune and all this okay this is where our society is basically shifting to that's part of the reason why you see the dollar is dropping this is part of the reason why you see all these economic systems all over they're 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 falling okay because the 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 times are shifting the dynamics of society are shifting where that whole thing of being of, of a system of exploitation is coming is coming to a close okay this is the end of times for them all right it's coming to a close we are shifting to another dimension where where it's your spiritual currency that's going to get you somewhere now okay now Part of the reason why I'm going ahead and I'm saying this and part of the reason why I want you to kind of understand that is because when it comes to, you know, like I said, uh, the, these individuals who are experiencing, you know, this, this spiral downfall, part of the reason why this is occurring is because there's a saying, if you learn to master yourself, you can master anything. All right, let me say it again. If you learn to master yourself, you can master anything. And I want you to kind of think about this, and I found this to be interesting. And, and as a matter of fact, this is part of the reason why when I was going to school, you know, I, you know I'll be honest, I, I had to drop out for a little bit and, um, you know, because of funds and everything. But, and I started to fall into that whole thing of I'm not going to go back to school until I started really reading and I started studying and, and observing how people who are really into spirituality, people who are occultists, I started noticing most of them are educated. Most of them have college degrees. Okay. And I'm not saying just a bachelor degree, that first degree, I'm talking about masters and doctors and so forth. All right now understand this I am not knocking anybody who does not who has not gone to college I am not promoting going to college or any of that kind of stuff what I'm trying to get you to understand is that one of the 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 one system in, in this whole Western society the one system that Westerners have in place that helps an individual kind of you know somewhat develop spiritually or develop some kind of self-discipline or some kind of spiritual development is college okay that's the reason why so many that's the reason why people excel in it all right college is an actual weeding process and but this is basically like i said this is what westerners have that's all they got and this is part of the reason why, like I said, again, you'll see the people who basically are really involved in spirituality, the individuals who are really involved in the occult, they usually have some kind of degree, all right? Again, I'm not knocking individuals. I'm not knocking you if you haven't gone to college, if you don't have a, a degree or any of that, and I'm not promoting it. I'm simply stating that, that 
the whole reason of going to college or one of the reasons or, or one of the pros of going to college is basically it helps you to develop yourself. It helps you to spiritually develop. All right. Now, that being said, if you have not gone to college and you're trying to advance, you're trying to grow spiritually, you're trying to uh, develop and, 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 you know, and so forth for someone, you need to get a system that is going to help you to spiritually develop. You got to get into a system that is going to help you develop some spiritual discipline. Now, what happens if you don't? Well, this is what the conscious community is going through. Okay. Now I know some people are probably looking and saying, okay, well, Dr. Umar, he got several degrees. Yeah, that's probably true. All right. And he has, you know, has a doctor's degree, but you can clearly see this is one of the flaws that I'm saying, because I understand, I'm not saying that college is a foolproof system that, that's going to help you to develop spiritually. Not at all. Okay. What I'm saying is you got to have some kind of spiritual system, some kind of system that's going to help you develop in order for you to go ahead and work yourself and get that self-discipline. When you see an individual who is basically falling, this is the reason why they're falling. This is the reason why they're failing. It's because they don't have a, a spiritual system or a spiritual discipline that is helping them. And, <coughs> excuse me, and this is the reason why they're going through what they're going through. Okay? Now, as I was saying, what happens if you don't develop spiritually? All right? What happens if you're not involved in any system or you don't have a system that is not going to help you develop? What happens if you um, are not involved, you know, you're all into the metaphysics, but you're not dealing with yourself from a spiritual perspective, right? From an occult perspective, what happens is you are going to, um, you're basically going to be influenced by set, all right? Now, a lot of these, a lot of these archaeologists, a lot of these, you know, people who uh, claim to be, you know, study studiers and, and masters of Egyptian mythology and all this they'll tell you that set is evil and they don't understand it because again the problem with Western culture is that Western culture basically interprets things from based upon the five physical senses all right now the issue with Western culture is not because the, the, the issue that a lot of people who are non-Westerners we have with Western culture is the fact that it is one-sided. All right. Now, if you don't understand that, and and you hear you've heard these people who are you know like I said they, they claim to be metaphysic uh, metaphysicians and what have you, and they're telling you oh well you know the reason why. Um, Western culture is bad is because it's the white man and all that. Okay, that's 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 some nonsense. That's some BS. Okay, that's not the reason why we're against Western culture. We're against Western culture because Western culture is non-holistic. All right. As I stated, Western culture only looks at things from the five physical senses. It totally disregards, totally ignores your spiritual sense, your sixth sense. It totally ignores that, okay? Um, if you go back and you read the story of Osir, the reason why Haru is unable to defeat Set, it, it, it alludes to the fact, the reason why he's unable to defeat Set is because he's fighting Set from a one from a one-sided perspective all right this is alluded to in the story of a, in the story of Osir why when Haru flees he has to get his eye repaired by Shahuti in order to get a holistic perspective okay so this is why we're against Western culture 
And this is why Set is considered to be the Lord of Chaos. Set is a, uh, he's not an evil entity, all right? He is not the devil. Set refers to and he symbolizes our, he symbolizes us, each and every one of us, when we are undisciplined, when we have no spiritual discipline, no spiritual development, when we have nothing in our life that is going to help us to control how our, help us to, to manage our subconscious part of our being. If we don't have that, this is what that symbolizes. And when you don't have the spiritual discipline, when you don't have a spiritual science or, or any kind of, like I said, self-discipline, self-mastery, any of that, if you don't have any of that in place, what ends up happening is what you see what is going on within the conscious community. This is what we have to understand. The reason why you see, for instance, Dr. Umar is not, he, he's been unable to actually go ahead and um, get his school going is because of setting an energy. He lacks self-discipline. He lacks spiritual discipline, spiritual development, self-development. He is being influenced by setting energy or set is basically the God type who is basically leading his life. The same could be said for any of these individuals who basically they're, they're all about the whole metaphysics or any of that. It, it goes even beyond that, okay? Anybody who goes ahead and claims that they're, they're about this, they're about this kind of life, all right? The universe or our spirits basically have a very interesting and unique way of saying, let's test you. And they put set out there in the midst, and this is what happens. Okay? So, you, 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 we have to understand, you're involved in spirituality, or you're interested in comedic spirituality, not because, oh, it's against the church. Not because, oh, you know, it's different from Western spirituality or, or it's different from Christianity and Islam and, and Jehovah Witness and, and, and all that. Yes, that's all great and dandy. But what is it, what is it that brought you to comedic spirituality? This is the question you have to ask yourself. And when you, once you've asked yourself this and once you go in here and you realize the reason why you are, you, you're on this path and you're trying to learn about comedic spirituality is because what you, in your in your, your birth religion, your old religion, former religion, the things that you're supposed to be learning that's going to help you develop and become a, a, a an actual spiritual, more spiritual individual, more enlightened individual, it didn't exist in those traditions. It didn't exist in those religions. That's the reason why you're on the path. All right? So understand, understand, all right? If you're trying to do something, you're trying to manifest something, you're trying to do some magic or you're, you're trying to get this across. You're trying to get, accomplish any kind of goal and it's not happening. And you feel yourself slipping and you're going backwards. The reason why is because of one thing. You're not developing yourself. You're, you're, you're basically, you're buying into someone else's system. You're following someone else's system instead of you going ahead and learning about your own system. Instead of you going ahead and doing by trial and error and putting in the hard work to go to make your stuff work. Okay. So I'm, 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 I'm hoping that makes sense. All right. Um, I know I went on about it and, it and it might even sound like a little bit of a rant. Okay. Um, but again, like I said, this is what's happening family. And again, I don't want you to think, I don't want you to be afraid of your spirits okay that's not what this is about all right this is about being you got to come into your own you got to go ahead and you have to uh, you got to develop yourself spiritually 
you have to develop yourself all right and once you start developing yourself once you start getting into the practice and you get into the habit of, uh, of, of raising your consciousness raising your awareness doing what you know that you have to do for yourself once you go ahead and you start doing that you start seeing things manifest because your spirits want that to happen all right they know you need certain things they know what you want but they're not going to go ahead and 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 just give it to you just because you prayed for it or just because you did some magic for it or you did a spell or some altar work or or you you burned some money for your ancestors they're not going to give it to you for that reason okay they're trying to get you to unlock certain things that are or unlock certain mysteries within yourself which is the greatest mystery there is they're trying to get you to unlock those mysteries so that you can go ahead and you can deal with the universe yourself. Again, master yourself. You can master anything. All right. So once again, thanks again for your support. Um, please go ahead, like and share and subscribe, you know, um, and then you got any questions. Like I said before, drop me a line. Okay. Other than that, till next time, Hachapu, peace. Don't pretend it, baby.